Hello. Hello, Glenn. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I pressed the wrong button. Oh. Okay. I think. <laughs> Hang on. I'm at the raft, so i got to work my way a little closer to the house. Mm. You hear me here? Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get out of the wind because the, the wind is fairly strong today. Goodbye, baby. <laughs> because when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. <laughs> they talk about that. Here. They talk about the, when they say that cradle, are they, are they referring yeah. to cradle of civilization? The cradle of civilization is not simply Mesopotamia. Africa? But it's Babylon on the Rito. Babylon. Yeah. Okay. Hear me now? Uh huh. Okay. It, it's just me right now. Uh, Brian told me he was gonna going to come on, and he Dana. Gonna go what? I said it's just me right now. Brian told me he was gonna come on, call in. Okay. But I haven't seen him. And yeah. Dana's like he's doing. He's um, busy doing a rehearsal. Yeah. Right now. Uh, so I don't know. Um, hopefully, well, Brian. I'm in my RV, which we call the Gatekeepers <laughs> RV. <laughs> I say mine because it was given to me, but. Uh, Maybe they'll want it back someday. Oh, they want it back. Well, David is a Métis, and maybe that means he's an Indian giver. <laughs> <laughs> where did that ter where did that term uh, that term come from? The Indian. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, except for the fact that uh, Métis believe, or uh, natives believe, that no one really owns anything. Only the person who needs it owns it. Mm. So they could be giving it away and taking it back when they need it. Oh, okay. So that uh, puts that group of natives... Uh, in British Columbia, who every year mm -hmm. give away everything they own. Oh, really? And they never come away empty handed because everybody does the same thing. <laughs> That's, they have similar cultures. It's like called that. a potlatch. That's what they call it? Potlatch ceremony. Potlatch ceremony. You've met them before? Can't hear you. Hang on. I'll try to go to the other uh, better phone, but older. If I go on here, off here. Hello? You hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That should be louder for me. <laughs> it's an older phone, but it's better. Just like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's new? Um, so I was 
was looking at your post um, yesterday. I thought it was interesting, uh, the Atomic Samurai, that kind of thing. What made you... a good researcher. What happened? Hey? What did you say, a good researcher? Yeah. Who's a good researcher? Well, so far, until you get here, Jenny. <laughs> She's a good researcher. You, you produce the finished product. She gives me the answers to the questions I put to her. And you seem to, you're like, uh, you seem to put, uh, like a, like a type of Jack and Boaz in the sense. You like, you seem to take all information and you seem to like project to the future. Yeah. Like an well, outcome. That's because I don't do it immediately. I yeah. have to analyze it first and run it through my spine, see what the hell's going on. Total picture. You'll be doing the same thing before long, too, so not to worry. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, um, what's, go what's, like, what's going on with, um, or the situation with, um... Well, you know. one of the things I discovered, asking Jenny enough questions, that they are, in fact, being educated. Same place mother took me when I was a child to be brainwashed. In a uh, place in Quebec near Montreal, a town close by is called Dorio. Dorio comes from Orion. Orion. Just trying to get to my seat here. Orion is uh, Arian. Priest there, Benedictines, the background. Theator, getting back to the third century. Uh, I think the destruction library at Alexandria moved all of the documentation over to Rome. The Viator, that, that, that um, education, a place where you were taken to get brainwashed or whatever. Is that like a, a religious institution? Too? Uh, what happened to me was uh, my mother and her sister-in-law, my aunt, her son and me went on a train journey from Ottawa to a place that had a grotto to the Virgin Mary called Regal. The place was uh, named after original uh, two last two governors of Canada who had been sent by the King of France before the English over. Their name was Vaudreuil de Rigaud. Father and son. On the way to uh, Rigo, remember there being a canteen going by. I don't know if I've told you this before. Yeah, you told me. 
before. Yeah. Um, told me that a while ago. A long time ago. Oh. The thing I remember today mm -hmm. is way there my mother had no money. In fact, she had money, and I couldn't figure out how that worked since when you went to religious places. Give a donation. <laughs> I get a donation. Anyways, that was the place that I was programmed for the next 50 years or so. Now I find out that all of the uh, people who join the uh, Port Authority mm -hmm. go through a three-stage learning process. Uh, first one is a physical, from what I can gather. Second one, a mental examination from which I suspect they are looking for a particular kind of candidate. Someone who is a sociopath. Jenny calls them. If they find the people who are the sociopath among send them to Regal, and they call that a journey getting a seat at Regal. Well, getting a seat is uh, important because a seat, French refers to the term assi or seated English. St. Francis, known as St. Francis Assisi. Yeah. Franciscan order started by St. Francis of Assisi. It is a place in northern Italy. And the uh, top uh, courts in the land, when uh, called into the courts, it's in the fall, and they call it the assizes. The judge enters the room while the clerk yells out, Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! <laughs> and up uh, in honor of the judge, Hear ye! Hear ye! Hear ye! the judge comes in, carries, means everything stops with me, judge, got the hammer. When you read about ham in the Bible, Talking stops. Judge. Of course, the hammer suggests is representative of the carpenter, builder, Joseph, <coughs> excuse me, and the builder Cain. is Joseph. So, like, what does that 
mean, when Thor had a hammer. Okay. It was, hmm? At the door, and you enter, and you are seated if you are qualified. This is a court of appeal, not basically all to deal with questions of law rather than questions of fact. Loss. Interesting. There are two things outside of this that are interesting of anything else. Pope has called the meeting of all the cardinals in October held in Assisi. Why he wants it out of the Vatican yet to be explained. Second thing is, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Spelled O Y E. O and E. A. Hi, sir. <laughs> yeah. Chip. Beowulf, spelled O-E, but it's pronounced. So is A's public safety, W-E-A. For those who don't know, O Y E in French, name of a big bird, how do they pronounce the French? Wah. Wah. And what idea what bird it would be represent doorway to the boss. Called a Canadian goose. Looney? Looney and a loony have two O's in there. So does a goose. <laughs> a goose and two O's basically link to genetically engineering second generation. So what do you Omo. think? Homo sapien uh. sapien. Uh. Second generation sapiens. Now in the year 2000, a group of Caucasians 2000 BC showed up in Finland. In the year zero, a second group of Caucasians showed up in Finland. They are the most homogeneous race of people on Earth with very little difference extend to the original. Is 
between Sweden and Russia. They are called the Finns, the same way as you see. How are they made so different from? Um, first batch of people made after the Ice Age are called the Roma. Roma are wanderers. From the wanderers, Aboriginals, Aborigines. Originals were known as Gypsies. They went and they established a priesthood in the Middle East called Men. Wanderers hard time staying in one place. Yeah. Also known as the travelers. Yeah. yeah, the travelers. And often carry umbrellas. So that song singing in the rain is linked to that? Yeah. Well, the place they set up was Egypt. People who carry umbrellas, Japanese. Are the wanderers who went furthest away. After the brown people were made, the wanderers. Asians were made. Out of the brown comes the yellow. Out of the black So you had Asia with wanderers living India and Egypt. The wanderers of Egypt made their way through the Middle East over to the Himalayas on to China, North Korea. Other direction, Southeast Asia. At a meeting place, one is the place we now call Seoul. South Korea. The other we call Japan. Carry umbrellas as a. Yeah, they do do that. Hey. Eh? Yeah, I I remember seeing something like that with um, umbrellas, and yeah. I think it was usually paper umbrellas. Paper. Oh. Um. No, never mind. I, I think I thought I saw paper umbrellas when I went to a Japanese restaurant, and I think they were making like little paper ones. What but I'm not guy who carried an umbrella. Who? Say that again, Glenn. There was another guy who carried an umbrella. Michael Jackson, <laughs> who changed his color. Black to white. This is all symbolic 
stuff. As out of the Himalayas next came a group of people not called Asians, but cock Asians. The allegory of Jesus includes a phrase that says, or the cock crows twice. <laughs> you will deny knowing me. Now, the group called the Caucasians, genetically engineered to be pink, white, being white is a disease. <laughs> but I think they call people black and white just for purposes of coding. Yeah. Differentiation. They made pigs pink. They used to be boars and were black. Mm. Well, I guess the two of us have something in common. <laughs> But where did the second group of Caucasians come? Native people of North America arrived mostly on the West Coast, made their way across the plains. to the Sundance yeah. suggests that they came from Western Asia. Yeah, because they were doing that Sundance in Asia before. Yeah. When they got to the Great Lakes, they gave birth. Their son, the Caucasians, year 2000. No, oh, sorry, in the year zero. Mm -hmm. Birth of the Caucasians that eventually became the second group of immigrants to Finland done on the Bruce Peninsula it is a piece of land shaped like a triangle rounded south by Lake Ontario to the west by Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, Lake Huron to the north. In there added is Gore Bay, Georgian Bay, Lake Between uh, Hudson, between uh, Huron, Lake Huron, and Detroit is Lake <laughs> Vale. Sounds like Vale. Vale. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Have to have my map in front of me. Vale. Yeah. So that is the place that Caucasians will be destroyed, where they were born. Out of there, brown people took the Caucasians down the Mississippi, across the Caribbean. North Africa, across North Africa, Giza, across Giza into Jordan, up 
around the end of the Mediterranean, Baltics, up into Finland, they arrive. The birth of Jesus, in fact, the birth of Caucasians, occupy with Asians most of the northern hemisphere. Is that why he's drawn like on pictures, Jesus like as a, a white person? He's symbolic, he never existed. Yeah. He's us. Finland is called Finland. Hardest people in authorities called Phi. Yes, sir. Yeah, that word comes up a lot for me. And when they work in industry, they are the spies who work as clerks. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> At bottom, ladies make this rocking world go round. When, when I go, whenever I'm dealing or going inside some office like DMV or something, I'm always dealing with a clerk, some type of, always some type of. Very few people at the top mm -hmm. get to see anything on which they are accused of being in charge of. And they have no idea? Like Many of them never even see it. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> they may be called ministers, they may be called kings, they may be called presidents. Never even get to know it existed. Because it is being sorted and culled and archived and destroyed a whole group of hippies. <laughs> Hip pies. Hip spies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, pies also, you know, pirate. Yeah. Pi R square. Yeah. Stuff is interesting. When you, when you look at that stuff, I, I was researching that stuff, like ratios and circumferences and areas. But when you look at it from, like, you know, from the other world's perspective, yeah, it has a lot more meaning to it than that, you know, I was taught in school. Hip, yeah. hip, hooray. Who is Ray? Mm -hmm. Who is who? The hour, because I O U means those letters are interchangeable. Ray is H O. Hour. I. All right, sir. Mm hmm. That's how they always... In a circle. Sorry. Did you say? Never mind. I, <laughs> um, I, mean, I forgot. You may forget. Around in a circle. I, I, sir, is what they say in the military. That's what they always... Um, sir is IRS. Um, IRS is linked to clitoris. Ruining your country. That's like that. This, and it's close to the uh, Libya. Libya. Yeah. Gaddafi. Oh, ham. 
M R. <laughs> Why is he still there? Uh, he's got the hammer. You say that he's gonna like he has like power, like he, he can push the button and, and haven't seen the end. What is going to happen? Happened. Tidal wave. A void. Everything south of the Mediterranean. All it takes is blind thrust. Blind thrust is just a big IED. Look at the movies of the explosions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Devised explosive devices. Go up like something you've never seen before. All the energy goes in one direction. Imagine that in a cave underneath box at Sault Ste. Imagine that in the peninsula across the peninsula of northern Michigan. All oh, what's going to happen when the toilet flushes. You said blind. New York City, when the steam to street corner and stuff went up, what, the 30th floor or something. Steam, water. Not good. Not a good mix. mix. Along with what's underground in a coal seam. Explosives that are the end product of a volcano. Going to make a mess of or Bay. Right now, they have 30 ships, I'm told. There are 30 uh, nuclear generators supposed to be on their way to Sweden. Just to make sure they don't take them down to St. Lawrence, this week they orchestrated a crash by a freighter that blocked the entire St. Lawrence Seaway. Had to go and get some tugs. It was turned sideways, and the length of it is almost the width of the canal. That water flows through those nuclear reactors. And bet you're going to get Radon added to the radon at Elliott Lake, Toilet Lake, mm -hmm. is right along Gore Bay. Some people will die immediately. Some people will die within a year of cancer. A committee of 300 mm -hmm. killed their 300 symbolic Japanese this week. They are still dead men walking. Oh, man, that was, that's all linked to that movie you were talking about a year ago. Remember? Yeah. 
you think that's what they meant the whole time? Fifty groups of people, fifty to a group, six groups, three hundred people. Symbolic of the death, the trilateral commission, all of the elitist Olympians. They will have to present their book of life or creation. They'll judge whether or not serve to be recombined as anything close to humans. Will their getaway car, Ontario Provincial Police, made to show up with their book of life? So will Ma Bell, Ma Gill, Mother Nature, who is not at all what people believe the word nature means, last part being ruse in Jerusalem. All the people who are playing the game of master Telling us that we must adore, which is rado, mm -hmm. craft, or God, or his son, or the holy G host on Whit Sunday. Who is the G host? Is the body that carries the Trojan and that looks like a woman that is managed by a control panel, nickel. Copper is run by nickel. It is symbolized by the capital letter A, as in Amen. Everybody prays for the new slave every day when they say, Glenn, do you think, like, um, like a free man or think those? People they can have a chance of everyone has a chance. It all depends on what they answer to the question. What did you do? <laughs> but do you, do you know um have I don't know if that's the next question, but have you ever met a wee man that could Yes, I was married to one. No, no, not no. no I'm not saying. Have you met a woman? I said, have you ever met a woman that you know overcame? I am not able to tell anyone whether or not they are saved. <laughs> that job is creation. What they do after they've answered the questions, what did you know, when did you know it, and finally, what did you do about it? If they've done nothing, 
or if what they've done is cosmetic, self-serving, they are sent to me. What do you call that? That wrong? It's like the um, last person they see. Yeah, that's the executioner, but you, you, you don't want who like right before the execution. You you walk. I don't do anything but accompany accompany them. Yeah. Their journey to the edge. So that they remember how they treated us. Just like the gray nuns treated Jenny. Just like the hospitals in Ogdensburg treated Jenny. Just like the clerks, the minister, citizenship and immigration, treated Jenny. Just like the border guards, the superintendents, were supposed to review the case, treated Jenny. Just like the Minister of Public Safety, his political flunkies, wrote a letter about something they knew nothing about. Even mentioned things that weren't even there in anything she ever saw. As they know nothing about it. In my head, sometimes I, I wish I could just um, like bypass these people because it's just no, it's nothing but like just people who are brainwashed or whatever. Probably I could just bypass because they get all they all get orders. You know, I wish there was a way like they're all on remote control. Everybody is. But along the way, as evidence gathers, that's why you're told that life begins at 40, because you haven't seen all the evidence yet, therefore you can't be blamed in the same way. Once you pass 40, going down a path where you know What's going on? Yeah, you know you're right because I I speak to forty year olds and I can tell by like sometimes the things I say like the experiences they've had like they know, but a lot of them they just they but they still they don't, don't want to act as if they yeah know. they don't act on that no. So. so they will. They will have their book of life, and there will be no double talk, no lying, no excuses, just the facts. What did you know? And did you know it? Then the clincher. What did you do about it? If you, you knew, did nothing, there then is no mitigating circumstance that would reduce 
the ultimate penalty. All a degradation of your DNA, religion calls soul. Guarantee those people claim to be human, never acted like humans, acted either like slaves working for a master or acted as the hub of the IRS. <laughs> they will read the book themselves. Creation. Creation will tell them which door they take. The door they take Herman they would ever, ever, ever again have a chance at being this far up the food chain. Those who did nothing go downwards to a point have no chance whatsoever ever making it back up. Those, but, you know, but there, there, there could be a chance, though. I think there could be a chance of people who are doing something, but you're just not aware of it. Well, that's why the question is designed the way it is. <laughs> yeah. What did you know? When did you know it? So if you've answered, I knew nothing. Mm -hmm. Can't lie. A different doorway. Doorway. I'm, I'm, I got a roller coaster ride, man, ahead of me. I got a roller coaster ride. Well, I would suggest that, buddy, trying to do something, look at the range of options open to them. Choose the one that is possible. This stage of the game, moving towards the tip of the Canadian shield for those Americans who won't be let across the border, safest place to be. Doesn't mean the place where nothing dangerous will happen because I'm sure when the Canadian shield rises, a lot of shaking and rattling going on. But at least it'll be out of range. Problems that will come if water may not be out of range. The creation decides to cherry pick those people are there but don't belong there because they are, in fact, the people causing us the problems today. That would be taken care of by radon, cancer, mostly lung cancer within a year. And they wouldn't even know they were getting hit with the radar. That's, that's like an invisible death. A million people died from Chernobyl. 
not from the explosion year that followed. And nobody could foresee that? Nobody could no. see. They thought it would somehow be localized. Smile Island. And how much exposure do you have to be in radon to, to die from it? Oh. I have no idea of what the nuclear content is causes that to happen, but it all depends upon how much radioactivity it has picked up along the way. Uh, 30 nuclear reactors in Owen Sound. Each one having about a gram or two material in them. Sufficient enough to wipe out millions. If they were lying, I, I, I never thought that would be possible. I didn't think that was going to, like, be what they want to do, like, from, because in, like, post-apocalyptic movies, they always show people who are just all ra ra radioactive, have some radioactive disease. So, I guess that... Now, if you look at the story of Tutankhamun, yeah. the cave was found, the archaeologists wouldn't go in the financier in. What happened to him? He said he died of a mosque. So, An Arvin. Arvin? The financier Only interest was self-serving. First, the goal, following Putin. What he died of, you saying it was in the air, in the tomb? Yeah. Same thing here. Whoever opens up, Without knowing the rules of the game, hit by a blast of radon. They've been using the radon to kill people since Egypt. They've been using radon to explain that this is the basic material. Genetics, it's known as the hadron bag which all things held. What they do in a, uh, a lighter basically collide bags called hadrons. Bags collide with each other. Mm -hmm. The contents fall out. Immediately, seek another bag to hide in. Another hadron. It's in this fraction of a second, millisecond, that it can be photographed. Those things we don't know exist yet that make up the possibility of life. Bags called hadrons. Now, what those the color of these bags would they be red? Was it is it like this, you know red? I bag? have no idea. Not a physicist or a scientist. So when they talk about red bags, what are they talking about? Like talking about Persia and and. Well, Persia has red in the name. 
Mike and Red work together. Black and Red, he says? Yeah. Oh, they work together. White and Red work together. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. That, that makes a lot. Yeah, with Santa. <laughs> it is Red Bag. Yeah. So when they say, okay, this is sacred, this is a, we have a red bag here, what are they getting at? What are they? What's the, um... Hadron, uh, symbol, symbolic thing for bag lady. Mm -hmm. A place without a home. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. First lady without a home, Nefertiti. Nefertiti is now missing. Is one bus in Germany, but there was another bus in. Uh, quote unquote, don't believe it for a minute. Dr. Awaz claims that it was stolen, has never mentioned anything about it since. I suspect it was placed in the tunnel to be brought here. Reunited with its character. of the first bag lady. Wilder Penfield's bag lady. <laughs> yes, there's a movie called um, The Born Identity. And it shows you know, while the pen feels work in there, but how you can use that for an assassin. And, and the guy in the beginning, you know, he he's like wandering, looking, trying to find who he is. He was homeless. He was like a bag lady, kind of. And he had this red bag he would hold around in the movie. And they played tennis last week at Melbourne. <laughs> and the main and the guy <laughs> Melbourne and the guy who played the role of Jason Bourne was Matt Damon. Yeah. Damon, mostly in Damon. Mid the peninsula, the fjord foundation. <laughs> yeah, fjord. Yeah. Yeah. What did you mean? Yo, could you explain that for other people here? Um, what Bev Oda? Yard is a narrowing of water. So you can go inland on a creek. Yes, or cross. A stream or a, a larger place is a fjord. Places like Sweden, for example, mm -hmm. guys that were in the merchant marine used to deliver to military bases and enter off of the northern sea, whatever they call it, mm -hmm. uh, North Sea, <coughs> enter uh, inland down a fjord with rocky ridges on either side, arrive at places where the vegetation would start to roll up, closing a hole in the rock, and the ship would sail in and unload its goods there. Yeah. Swedes and the Norwegians, the Danes and the Dutch, Belgium, and so 
Estonia, mm -hmm. Finland, all those places, Lithuania, they all know what's about to happen. They're all involved in running the UN, half of the Swiss cheese, Bern, Switzerland, Oh, his group going to Assisi is, you know, moving away from the Vatican, getting closer to Switzerland. Mm. Yeah. Mont Blanc in, in the, the Alps, where the Knights Templars were created, all in that area where Switzerland, Italy, France, Germany, together, Czechoslovakia. They say these guys know what's going to happen. Like, so you well, think that uh, white no. Russians used to take all of the presidents who came to? Soviet Union on a boar hunt. <laughs> yeah. Didn't what the president do that? Symbolic of. Was it? Symbolic of going on a hunt for Caucasian. The boar dying. That's in um one of the mythologies, like uh that died. I forgot his name. You know it, Glenn. Yeah. It's um, it's one. It's it's um. Damn. Damn. There's always a good thing to something missing. <laughs> Can't give them all the information. Bother looking. <laughs> Yeah. I see a lot of boars and used as symbols a lot. You know, I see that. So when they say we were hairy boars, so you're saying boars are Caucasian, and then the what? So the when the boars became pink pigs. That's like yeah. looking at all stuff. So. And what's a pig? Don't you pour molten metal in a pig? Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> in any event, I don't know if we've had any other visitors, but time for me to get to doing some other work. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you. Mm hmm. Question as much as possible. Has begun. This journey. But you can, knowing what you know, have a raft. To run. Okay. I'll... Talk to you soon. Okay, go on. Bye for now. Bye. -bye.